Hey peeps, it's Ashley from Planting the World Red. And today we're going to be unboxing. I know I've been doing a lot of unboxings, but today I got a package from Glasshouse Works. Um, this package actually took about mm, a month and a half, maybe two months to get um, because they make the cuttings as you order them and then they root and then that's when they sell them. So it took quite a long time to get this package and they said the reason mine took more than usual um, is because I got more of a popular plant. Well, actually I got two of them, but uh, <laughs> I saw that they had a plan and I wanted to get them both. So we're just gonna dive right in. Um, they sent it in this like Oreo box, so it's, it's cute. Um, let me not cut myself with this box cutter that I have. Um, but anyways, safety first kids. Please don't be like me. Oops, that's not a straight line. Okay. So how was your guys day? Um, I just got back from class. I actually have to go back in like an hour or two because my class got canceled. So usually I would be in class around this time, but since it got canceled, I have to go back for class. And it was like a three hour gap that I had. So I just figured I'd come home and film a video. Why not? Um, also, if you have not already, um, like and subscribe to my channel, make sure you turn on the post notifications, um, just click the bell right beside the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every time I upload, um, because at 500, um, subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should, because I, uh, I think I said it on um, Instagram. So they have a Japanese beetle certifi certificate of quarantine compliance um, of the Ohio Department of Agriculture. Um, so this is a nursery accreditation program and it's been approved. So apparently I have no Jas Japanese beetles coming with this. Thank goodness. So in total, I got four plants. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to tell you what I got. I'll show you the invoice at the end without my address because I've, I've been known to do that in the past and show my address. It's fine. Show it again, but it's cool. Um, and then they also sent the nursery inspection. Another some stuff like that. But um, this is this just looks like shredded up orders. It looks like, to be honest, that they use for the paper. I don't really have anywhere to put this. I guess I'll just put them on my floor. Uh, it's gonna make for a mess. It's like stuff like this. Just I'll have to vacuum after this video for sure. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the first plant feels light. Probably gonna have to water it after this. Oh, I can see the plant right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it. I think I know which one this one is. So this is more like shredded up newspaper, I guess. Aww. So cute. So, 
this is the first plant that I just unwrapped and it is a Hoya Comingiana. So that's how it's spelled. Hoya Comingiana. And it uh, came in a two inch pot. How much did I pay for this? So this one was $8.50 that I paid for this one. And it came in sphagnum moss, but the sphagnum moss feels kind of dry. Or this might be Spanish moss. Either way, the, the moss is dry. Um, but there's no wrinkling or anything. The leaves feel good and healthy. So yeah, pretty excited about that one. We have Convinciana. Next up is the, let's see, I know I'm doing a lot of unboxing videos guys, ooh, aww, there's a casualty, um, this one came right out of the box, okay, or the lantern. So let's just put that right back in there. So this is a Hoya Gano Loides, Loides, Gano Loides, Gano Loides, Gano Loides, I think that's how you spell it. Um, but yeah, pretty cool plant. Even though we had one leaf fall off, that's pretty sad. Um, I'm sure he'll bounce back. Oh, that's just a piece of paper. I thought that was a mealy bug and I was going to flip after all the pages that they sent me and then they send a mealy bug. But there's no mealy bugs on this. There's just a piece of paper. But um, this one is a pretty cool looking Hoya. Hoya Gonaloides. Gonaloides. So that's that one. Pretty cute. It doesn't want to sit up, so it's so gonna have to lean on the convention. So we have two more plants to go, and I can see one of them already, I think. I'm not really, I just don't have that name stuck in my head. Okay, so this is the next plant. Oh, this does not look like what I ordered. Um, hmm. Let's see. What kind is this? This is another Hoya. They've also been known to scent like extra plants, I guess, since mine took so long. They added in another one. So this is the Hoya Publicalix Verde. So it's kind of, kind of dirty. Let me try and wipe it off. But it's dirty. Hoya Publicalix for a day. That's a cute one. I have to add that one into my uh, pot. Or do you think I should keep it separate? I'm not sure. I'll uh, think on that one, but that one's pretty cute. So that's three plants, three Hoyas. Let's see. Okay. So now this is the one that I ordered. Let me tell what it is. 
already? No? Maybe? Yes? Ooh, it's got a new leaf coming in, guys. This one kind of reminds me of the squaffer one that I got from NSC Tropicals a, week, a couple weeks back. Um, and it's up there on my plant shelf. Um, it's doing okay. It did okay during the move. It wasn't the happiest, but it wasn't the most unhappy. I think my Gloriosums were the most unhappy. Those, those plants do not like moving. Um, but this is the... Philodendron Florida Beauty. So that's the one plant. And they said that this was the plant that took the longest. Okay. It's like these little pieces of paper are like freaking me out. I'm like, <gasps> But they're just pieces of paper. I just have to keep reminding myself of that. I'm fine. The plants are fine. We're all fine. Okay. And it looks like it kind of wants to have hair. It's like, it's like textured. It wants to have hair, but can't. Interesting. Um, that's the, that's one of the Florida beauties. The public alex fell over. Right. So the next one. Uh oh. This one's kind of ripped. This one's got a new leaf coming in too. Oh, how cute. And it's got a baby leaf. So this is the baby leaf coming in. How oh, stinking cute. But this one, this one got ripped. Obviously not by me because it's already brown. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna put these two together like this, and those will be my Florida beauties. So that's that. Make sure to remove some of I would hate to leave someone out. Okay. Yeah, I think that was it. I'm like covered in white stuff and I have on a black dress. That's great. But all in all, um, let me tell you the prices. So, let me see. For the Florida Beauties, um, it was $22 each. Um, as I said, for the Comingiana, it was $8.50. The Gonabloides was $10. And then I got a then I got a free public Halix, which of course was free, so it didn't cost me anything. And this piece is about to come out of, okay. This one, 
So I'm gonna have to repot this like today after I get back from class. My class ends at seven. It's like, mm, it's like three o'clock now. I have class at five, so two more hours. I have class. Um, but shipping was seventeen fifty, so I spent in a total of eighty dollars on this order. So I can't grab them all. I don't think. Maybe I can. So these are my new plant friends, plant babies, um, for this video. I think I'm pretty happy with this. I, uh, I gotta clean them up and repot them and stuff so they can look pretty. Um, uh, but I'm pretty happy. Um, so tell me what you guys think about the plants that I got. Do you think I spent too much or do you think it was a steal of a deal? Um, let me know and make sure you subscribe so we can get to 500 so we can do this giveaway because I actually uh, want to give something to you guys. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to have three winners, not like a first, second and third, but like just three winners in general. Um, I think I have some like really good plants that people would want. Um, and I don't want people to feel like, oh, I'll never get this. So, I mean, if there's like three people, then I feel like there's more of a possibility. So in the next video, it will probably be a more care video uh, because I'm trying to get more of out of, more out of unboxings because it's, it's causing me a little, a little much, a little much money. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys later.